we're rubbing elbows. Our shoes are touching spokes. The peloton is quite compact. Riders are cussing at each other. And that nervous energy leaves us almost shaking after we cross the finish line. It's just so intense right in the belly of the peloton. Eleven stage of this uh, Giro Italia, Assisi to Montecatini, is going to be the longest stage of the Giro. The brake can go in the first kilometre, it can take 20 or 30 kilometres to go. Uh, basically the bunch is waiting for the right combination of riders, not too big of a group to go. And it should be a group of between three and six riders, uh, any bigger and it makes it harder to chase down towards the end because they've got strength in numbers. Each time they attack it's a minute or two's effort to try and really extend that gap over the bunch and that will be kind of 90% of heart rate, 95% perhaps, until the breakaway is established. So it can take sort of two to five minutes, possibly even more, before the bunch lets up and, and gives them some leeway. The peloton behind will pretty much come to a stop. Once they've uh, decided that's the breakaway of the day, they'll let that gap go right up. Uh, so they'll time things using the earpieces from their directors. They'll get the time gaps to this breakaway. And they'll time it so that they catch them within the last 10 Ks, because if they catch them 30, 40 kilometers out, then that will spark new attacks from fresh legs and fresh rides and possibly bigger groups. Uh, so although it looks like it's by chance that they catch them towards the end, it's actually very well calculated. On the flat stage is like today. The more riders you've got in the breakaway, the more rest you get. The extreme of this, I guess, is the solo breakaway. If you're out there on your own, it's just you pushing into the wind, got no help from anybody else, no respite. At the other end of it, you have a group of eight to 10 riders. You can have a double pace line rotating at the front taking turns to push into the wind and keep the speed high as a general rule of thumb on these flat stages the peloton is able to take one minute every 10 kilometers out of the breakaway group but on stage 11 here today, we've got this three and a half kilometer climb towards the end. And at that point, when the break is tied, they would have been out there for more than 200 kilometers. And the people are behind to start attacking up there. The gap's going to come down very quickly. This is a three and a half K climb, averaging just over three and a, uh, 5%, maximum gradient at 8%. And this is where the attackers are going to try and spoil the plan of the sprinters team. They'll be going full gas up here, whilst the sprinters trying to enter this climb in the first 20 or 30 riders. That way they get some room to slip back and still be in touch with the peloton over the top. If there are any gaps at the top of the climb, the sprinters will hope to have as many teammates left as possible, because from the top here, they've got 11 kilometers to make sure that this is one big bunch coming back into the finish line. It's going to be a quick chase down the other side. It's going to be a few people taking risks to close gaps. And it's going to be touch and go whether it's a bunch sprint or whether the attackers can stay away. Everyone's going to be full gas here. The attackers, the domestique, the sprinters, all with different aims. And this point here now will really give us a good indication of who's going to stay away or if it's going to be a big bunch sprint. Yeah, we are, we are approaching the 10K to go sign. The speed is going up, and from here to the finish, 
it will all, always increase slightly. Will be a battle. The speed will be 60, 65 k an hour average. Coming into the final, the sprinters will be ditching any excess weight. That means water bottles in the last 5 k's. If it's been raining, they'll have taken them off with 20 k's to go. And they'll give their rain capes to the teammates to either put in their pocket or take back to the team car. As we're coming into town, here we've got around about two kilometers to the finish. This is where the, the race has decided. Where you see if the teammates have done a good work in positioning and if the sprinter has the legs to win. 